It's another warm welcome and I'm in Krakow at the Oshka Schindler factory Amalia and uh, I'm going to take a tour inside see what it's like because uh, a lot of people will have seen the film Schindler's List and uh, let's have a look what the factory's like inside what the tour's like uh, I came here a few years ago and it was shut at the time that I was here and I was only here for a certain amount of time and uh, let's have a look inside got a few displays of the uh, cameras that are here in the uh, museum and uh, surrounded by photos of that time as we walk on further There's actually more displays here, you can probably see through binoculars the Anschluss Austria, oh, the Anschluss of Austria has been shown in this one centerpiece display here you can go through the history they're all actually all the Anschluss of uh, Austria in, uh, in different languages as well let's walk a bit further down more depictions of uh, what happened during the war last day of the summer holidays in August it's another room made up here depictions us a soldier's uniform Got a cinema room here with the, the fighting that took place when war broke out. More artifacts, soldier's helmet, binoculars, it's an oxygen mask, gas mask. a soldier's uniform as well on display and a replica of a tank a tankette it's called the TKS tankette it's actually not a replica it's a small it actually is a tank small Polish reconnaissance tank quite a lot of detail on here You see uh, straight away in this one the uh, Nazi swastika in this room. I think there's two of them, two draped down here. And this room has, it's a shame actually, I can't read or translate this. I think if there's an English, there isn't here, I don't think. But I'm guessing it's from uh, the invasion from that time. She got a uh, picture of uh, the Germans when they established the uh, general government in Poland. And uh, just work, walking a bit further down, it's uh, remains of a statue that was uh, destroyed. We actually got the picture there of a the destruction that's happening next to a tram where I guess people were fleeing on on these as much as they could and we've got a number of uh, pictures of uh, Adolf Hitler here and uh, books as well that's German that's, ger that's in the German language it's quite a good uh, display room it that's, uh, that shows what happened during that time. Some of the uh, museum is quite dark, but there are rooms like this that are lit up, which is quite good. 
let's walk further down Oscar Schindler's desk here as well so this is where he would have sat it's got a replica telephone I'm guessing in the same room it's got a map of uh, Europe in the background with the uh, pots and pans that are here in this room just outside this display marvellous room this one it's a good thing that they've captured this and uh, maintained this in this style do come to this part when you're here further down from here we've got displays of uh, different clothes clocks more displays of life in those times so this is a replica really of a uh, Plasho concentration camp or Plashoff I think is the way to say it locally the quarry where mining was uh, done and then back-breaking work which resulted in the death of many many people died here many people were shot by the guards by Amonget the commandant of the camp for back-breaking work makes it even more heroic of what Oscar Sindel did saving saving the ones that he did and uh, putting them to work in his factory away from this type of work where you can see it it's back-breaking work this you can see it from the display phenomenal act performed by Oscar Schindler it's got a uh, guards uniform clash of guards uniform a replica it's a replica of a guards uniform that's what they were dressed like imagine imagine seeing a, a guard dressed in that uniform you know he's got a revolver pistol rifle and they just uh, shoot shoot at will shoot for the fun of it more displays of, of guards here exhibition continues this way so let's have a look further down factory grounds at the back here as you exit it's the main gate here and this is from the inside and uh, go into the museum part on the opposite side and this is a Oscar Schindler life makes sense as long as you save people his videos here of the survivors and uh, I just noticed the man responsible for making sure the story got published by Thomas Keneally uh, Leopold Pfefferberg uh, later known as uh, Leopold Page and his wife Miller Pfefferberg. Let's see if there's any other names I could uh, recognize. Uh, Itzhak Stern. Yes, we've got Itzhak Stern here. The role played by Ben Kingsley in the film. Uh, let's have a look. Who else can I recognize? I've seen, seen many interviews from uh, the survivors. We've got the Rosners, we've got Leopold Rosner, Hermann Rosner. One of them was a violinist, I'm not sure which one. So we've also got Mansi Rosner, Alexander Rosner, Willek Rosner, Hela Rosner. Pretty sure one was a violinist. The both, uh, both, the two brothers maybe? They may have been violinists. There's another one that I recognise. Uh, Leon Le Lejon is, Le and that's probably the correct pronunciation. Lejon, uh, Leon Leeson, as he was known, is no longer alive. There's quite a few interviews of his on uh, YouTube. He was one of the younger ones, and uh, fantastic interviews by his and the talks uh, by Leon Leeson. And I'll end on that note, actually, in this area. 
So I've just come outside uh, of the factory and I'm across the road and you can probably see the uh, factory from, uh, you can probably see a load of bushes really, but if I get a bit closer on this side, that's the outside of uh, the factory and you actually exit from a similar place and uh, that's where it is. And uh, brilliant tour, brilliant displays inside, 1,200 lives approximately saved here and in Brindlitz in uh, what was Czechoslovakia at that time. That's where they ended up just before the end of the war. And it's a brilliant tour. If you're ever down here in Krakow, do come here because uh, it's uh, a place where they've uh, done a magnificent job, magnificent displays, and uh, it's worth a trip. So from Krakow at Imalia, Oskar Schindler's factory, it's goodbye. <laughs>